On Saturday the 11th of March, I asked a Belgian whose family had been through the First World War and the Second World War, what the Great Depression meant to him. Um, you're, you're Belgian? Yes, my dear. Uh, what did the Great Depression mean to you? It means a lot of restriction, no beers, no cigarette, no chocolate, no coffee. Okay, he's gone mad. Hello, good morning. Welcome to Free Teacher. Today we're going to look at the effects of the Great Depression on war breaking out in 1939. Stopped to buy lemons here and we need to look at the Great Depression. Its effects were extremely important as a as a catalyst, if you like. There were a series of catalysts that triggered or fueled World War II, depending on how you look at it. The Depression was extremely important. It wasn't the only factor, was it, Philip? It wasn't the only factor, but it's something that you're going to need to know. So, how did the Depression affect war in 1939, how did it help to bring it about? Number one, it helped to bring Adolf Hitler into power. Number two, it made the League of Nations work very, very difficult. It contributed to the failure of the League of Nations. And perhaps this is a second point, although it's really very closely related. It made states, such as Italy, such as Japan, more aggressive. Because capitalist economies, if they're going through a downturn, if they're facing poverty, there's a tendency for these economies to go and get resources from other countries to improve their own economies. It makes them more selfish. This leads to military aggression. This leads to the rise of militarism. It made the leagues work more difficult because it made countries less likely to cooperate, less likely to look to collective security and more likely to look after themselves. So, rising militarism was a result of the Great Depression. Italy invaded Abyssinia, Japan invaded Manchuria. These are examples. My dream in In Germany, the Great Depression did not bring Hitler to power, but without the Great Depression he wouldn't have been able to come to power. The Great Depression created the conditions suitable for some extremist to come in and gain popularity. Hitler still had to be on the ball, he still had to know exactly how to manipulate the situation with his propaganda, with his promises, his funding from big, big, big business, etc. But the Great Depression played an enormous part. Before the Great Depression, Hitler was going through the lean years. This was Weimar Germany and Gustav Stresemann's golden years.
the depression helped to bring Hitler to power by creating the circumstances whereby he could take advantage of anger and the lack of faith in democracy and yet another crisis. I'm sure this was the same kind of effect that it had in other nations. You find me on Kodak. Kodak. No. Um, for Margie's birthday party. Um, it's really, really beautiful. It's an island in the Mekong and there's a gorgeous house here and, well, it doesn't belong to me and I wish it did. The Great Depression very fundamentally helped Hitler into power. It helped. For the United States, the big sign of the Great Depression was the Wall Street crash. I guess America is the central key to this. When America, the American economy collapsed, then the economic help that they had given to Weimar Germany collapsed with it. America called back its loans. The golden period ended. And the period of financial collapse, of poverty, of another round of hopelessness pushed politics to the extremes. From these extreme parties, one, either the right or the left was going to win. It turned out that the left was not as well prepared or as well funded as the right and it would be Hitler who would take advantage of the conditions created by the Great Depression and some of the other long-term factors that had discredited Weimar Germany in the eyes of the German population. As economies failed, another route that they could take to try to kickstart these failing economies was to buy weapons. And the more nations arm, the more they spend on the military, the more likely they are to go to war another contributing factor to World War II, military spending to try to kick-start economies. It can be argued that without the Great Depression, Hitler does not come to power. Without the Great Depression, you don't get the increase in militarism, in foreign adventures from different governments such as Italy, such as Japan, without the Great Depression, without the poverty, without desperation that the Great Depression causes. This rising militarism makes the work of the League of Nations, which was set up to fail, to be honest. It didn't really have much of a chance from the start, but it makes the work of the Great Depression even more difficult because it makes countries more self-interested, more likely to look after their own economies than to subscribe to the idea of collective security. We have to understand that the Great Depression was a major, major, major contributing factor, a, a, a catalyst. It was vitally important to World War II breaking out in 1939. But you've got to know that it was one of many interrelated causes. You've got to be able to balance um, that off with those. And you need to know the part each one played. We're going to deal with that in different videos here on Free Teacher. Not necessarily on Kodak, not necessarily at Margie's birthday party, but we're going to deal with it. Panicky not.
This is why I love Cambodia. You join me here in deepest, darkest Cambodia. This is where the Cambodian Dukes of Hazard would live. Not, 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 the new, not the new one, the old version. And it's here that you will join me to talk about the Great Depression. Because this is the sort of housing that people would have to live in during the Great Depression in the United States, in Germany and elsewhere. I think it's beautiful. But if you went from living in a house with all your family to living in something like this, all of a sudden, you might look for some sort of radical change. And it was the military, it was the right wing, it was people like Hitler who were offering change, who were offering a way out of poverty. People listened. People listened. Here on Kodak with Philip. Yeah. Philip, how is your Saturday? Great. Sintas, great. To me, it's so perfect that we're both scared. I'm scared. We're scared that it's going to end. I'm scared. You don't get Saturdays like this. Yeah, this is Cambodia. This is know. like before the Great Depression sort of Saturday. Yeah. He's happy. Darling, what do you think about the Great Depression? She doesn't care. To what extent did the Great Depression have an effect upon war breaking out in 1939? It had a huge effect. It had a massive effect. It had a huge and massive effect. It wasn't the only reason, but it created the conditions that were necessary for extreme politics to come to the fore and for this extreme politics to then manifest World War II. So imagine, imagine you're German or Italian or British or Japanese or anything and you start to find yourself very, very poor and desperate and things are not uh, going very well and your government offers you um, a chance to do better. Your government says that if we invade this country here, for example, then everything's going to be all right. In fact, they probably won't even ask you. Um, they'll just go ahead and do it, and you'll probably agree to it because, well, well, things are pretty bad. So in that sense of depression and the conditions that the depression caused um, enabled um, countries to become more aggressive, which in turn, obviously, a rise in um, World aggression is going to contribute somewhat to the outbreak of World War II. Examples of this will obviously be Japan and Manchuria in 1931 and Italy and Abyssinia in... It's a really good afternoon. It's like the best Saturday I've had for such a long time. We're here with Philip at Marge's birthday party. We're going to ask him some questions. Ah, thank you very much. About the Great Depression. Number one, Philip, did the Great Depression make everybody poor? Yeah. Yes. Philip, did the Great Depression lead to a rise of militarism? Of course. Of course. Did the Great Depression make the work of the League of Nations near impossible. The, what? The, 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 the work of the League of Nations nearly impossible. I suppose. He supposes, which is a yes. Yes. And then a number four, um, Philip, 
I can't remember what I was going to say. Dear I Philip. love you, John. I love Philip. <laughs> Near is here. Did the Great Depression cause other countries to see resources in other countries and invade them yeah. to improve their own economies, Philip? Of course. Of course. Of course. It's the beginning of Wall Street. Ignore that bit. He's kind of right, but just don't take, don't write that down. Don't write it down. Looks a bit like aliens coming to town. <laughs>